we were a band called um, Two Bare Feet. Due to copyright issues and stuff, we had to come up with a name very quickly before our first album came out. And there was a song that we'd been working on in the uh, earlier years that was called Echoing Angels. And when we were looking for a name, we were thinking about all these different names, trying to come up with, with names. And we thought about that song and we thought, what a great way to name a ministry after the angels in our lives, whether it be, you know, wives or families and people who pray for us at churches. And so we went to the label and we said, man, we'd love to have a ministry in a band called Echoing Angels for totally the support of people who support us. So the, the label loved it and it's, it's stuck with us and it's kind of cute. We like it because <laughs> it's kind of given back to people who have given to us. So. Yeah, your record that's coming out March 22nd and we're just, uh, I, we're just totally excited about what's about to happen and, and just want you guys to just love it because we just have fallen in love with this record, these songs. And we got a chance to record it uh, the summer of 2010. Uh, kind of wrapped it up recording vocals in it about beginning of September. And uh, it's 11 songs on this record. And um, it was produced by Calvin Turner. And he just did an amazing job on this record. So yeah, we uh, we can't wait. We've been sitting on this for probably about four or five months. It's been mastered, ready to go. We, I'm, I've listened to it about a thousand times. Yeah. I know they have. Families know it. My little kids, they're singing the songs already. They're digging it. And uh, we just can't wait for the whole public to uh, get their hands on it and, and just wear it out. Yeah, we recorded the record, all of the major tracks in five days uh, at Castle Studios over in, uh, I don't know why you're laughing at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just got to get We recorded the, all the major tracks at the Castle Studios here in Nashville in five days. Um, the first record, guys didn't get a chance to play on the record, so we're actually really excited about this. This, this record really has our heart in it, yeah. and, um, and, I, and we hope that you'll hear that heart when, when you listen to the record. Yeah, that's one thing that was really, um, one thing we really said about this record, that we wanted to, to be the musicians on this record. Um, we had some guest appearances like Chris Rodriguez plays on this record, DeMarco on keys, a chord, a uh, guitar player, things like that. Some little things here and there, adding some just really great, great, sweet moments. Um, Chris Rodriguez helped write a song on it called Sad Sad Tears on the record. That is just a, just a beautiful, just great song. But um, but yeah, I mean, it just has this, this great vibe. I mean, it, you know, being able to play on it is going to allow it to translate so well live. And I think when the when the band plays on the record, it just has that connection so much better. The first one didn't get a chance to, and um, really missed out on that moment. So this time, yeah, we're playing. It is. There's a really special song on this record. Um, it's called "Give You Peace." Um, this song is inspired by a great friend of my wife that later on I became really good friends with after uh, I met my wife and got married. Her name is Brooke Rains. Um, she battled a disease for about 15 years. Um, this disease caused tumors to grow in the brain brain and spine. Um, they weren't cancerous, but they'd grow so large they'd have to remove them because they started impeding on parts of her brain and spine that was just dangerous. So as they would begin to, she had about 25 plus operations, and in these moments they began to take pieces of her away with the tumors. And so as the years went on, you know, it was hard for her to talk, to hear, to listen, you know, to speak, as well as to walk. Um, so the last year and a half uh, for life, she, uh, she was bedridden. Um, and it, it was tough to watch that. But what was so amazing about her um, is that she understood her purpose. She understood why God had a, you know, had a reason for her life. She never was like, why was I given this body? Why was I given this disease? What am I supposed to do with it? She took it on, was strong with it, and was able to be an amazing testimony to doctors, to nurses, to children who she loved so much, even into my life, my wife's life, and so many others, as well as her parents. Um, and there's a moment where the song kind of came from the whole idea of peace and how God just ushers into our life and gives us these moments of peace and strength. When she was getting a halo put on her head, which helped stabilize the neck. Now it's a pretty abrasive and painful procedure because they, they screw right into the skull. And my, my wife knew what time the surgery was, so my wife just took time and just started praying. And my wife told me that, you know, she said, I just pray that God would give her peace in this moment. And a couple of days later, Brooke called my wife and said, you know, it was amazing. As I'm lying there on the table, and right before they started the procedure, in my ear, I heard a whisper, an audible voice say, I will give you peace, I will give you peace, and I will give you peace. And she was stoked. The doctors were blown away by her strength in this moment. So I had been wanting to be a part of writing a song of her inspiration in my life and in Emily's life, my wife. 
um, to bring encouragement and hope to others. Because that's what she wanted. She didn't want to think about her. She wanted to understand that we're given these things sometimes in, in this life. And sometimes rock who we are. We're not expecting it. But God comes in and begins to use us. And our weaknesses and our brokenness and His glory and His strength pours out. His strength is there. And He is able to use all things. And um, so this song really gets into the heart to reach out to those that are battling with diseases or lost loved ones. Anything in, in their lives that has been catastrophic to them to know that God will give you peace. To say what you believe is, is sort of first thing off this record. And it's basically talking about basically when you go up against people and, and you have to stand up for what you believe in. And lots of times, either with peer pressure or just insecurities, we don't step up. And this just it's, it's a rally cry saying, step up, say what you believe, don't be afraid, and just shout it out. And in the middle of the psalm, um, it breaks down, and it's basically, it, it's, uh, it's, it is a rally cry for everybody to join yeah, together. And collectively, you, you'll hear a lot of our styles in this, this record. I know Trey, lead singer, is very James Taylor, singer-songwriter. I'm more of a rock guy, you know. And, uh, James Neal here is more of... Uh, James Taylor, we got kind of a rock guy, ska, ska band guy over here on the end, bass player. But I think um, the writing these songs, we weren't afraid to venture down new avenues of singer-songwriter, uh, kind of maybe some different styles of ganjo and mandolin and uh, fun songs, up-tempo songs, piano songs. And I think this time around, we love having a project that you're going to be able to jump from song to song and, and have a little bit of a different flavor and style. And we're kind of proud of that because we wanted to have a record from top to bottom that you kind of go on a roller coaster ride. It's nothing's the same. It's uh, it's an adventure with us. Hey, hey we're Echoing Angels. Angels. And all you guys out there in the internet world, we want to say thank you for tuning in to Breathecast. Woo!